when you practice breath work consistently alongside breath journey. So I feel that the best kind of practice or ritual is a daily practice of breath, whether you focus on a down-regulating breath along with an up-regulating breath, and then some kind of small mini journey where you do elongated circular breathing for a 15 minute, 20 minute amount of time daily. And then you are also integrating like a monthly longer journey. When you're doing this, you are consistently releasing emotion in the body that is not serving you, that is trapped or needs to be let go of. You are toning your lungs and diaphragm, your breath system. You are tonifying your nervous system. You're working with regulating your nervous system. And what ends up happening is you end up coming into alignment with self or source. So your own innate intuitive wisdom starts to show up more and more. Every breath journey that you do ends up being maybe a little bit different depending on what you need at that time, what needs to be released, what needs to be cared for, what needs to be loved on. And then it happens in that journey and you're trusting your own wisdom in that journey to breathe accordingly, to move accordingly, to flow accordingly, to rest accordingly. And over time, over time and time, you become more acquainted with, more comfortable with listening to your own rhythm. You become, it becomes easier to release. It becomes easier to let go, let flow. There's less resistance. There's more flow to do what it is that you need to do to take care of you. That in some kind of essence is what the whole point of breath work is, what the whole point of this ritualistic work is. And we are in a time that this is so needed. We are in this transitory time of head to heart, of the way the world even works, like moving out of this mental head trip and moving into heart, moving into spirit. We can feel it. And that is where the breath is bringing us. Breath is the bridge between ego, self, heart, self. It's, it's the bridge between the chasm because those two really are one. Everything wants to integrate so that our head integrates with the heart. So when we are moving from headspace, the heart is involved. Everything's together. I hope that makes sense and gives you a little to chew on.